Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Factoring general trinomials. Practice questions. When we factor in general trinomial, it with first coefficient is not one. That is the most difficult part. And uh, I would like to show you the method is make your ED. And before that, we need to first review for you, because factoring and for you are opposite operation. And this question is for you. Say for you, three x minus one multiplied two x plus three. Actually, it's expanding. When we do for you, we multiply first term with first term, get the six x squared, and multiply. 3x with positive 3, we got 9x. What we negative 1 with 2x, we got a minus 2x. What we negative 3, what we have negative 1 with 3, we got a negative 3. Then we combine with these two terms, we got 6x squared. Combine 9x with negative 2x, we got plus 7x minus 3. And when we do factoring, you're given 6x squared plus 7x minus 3. And we're looking for factoring, we need to go this way, right? We need to go backwards, we need to go to get this result. So that's why I said factoring and for you, they are opposite operation. Now, if we have question with this trinomial, Coefficient is not 1, it's 6. How can we, from this trinomial to 3x minus 1 bracket multiply 2x plus 3? This is a, this video, I, I'm focusing on this method. So the key is how 7x separate into 9x and minus 2x. Why? Because 7x can be 8 minus 1, 6 plus 2, or 2 plus 5. Why we need to find 9x minus 2x? Where these two come from, right? So that's why the key is we're looking for 9x and minus 2x. Looking for these two. Actually, we're looking for these two numbers. Looking for positive 9 and negative 2 and then so that we can separate 7x into these two then we get the, after got this one we grouping then got this one so we're looking for these two numbers okay let's have this question let's say 6x squared plus 7x minus 3 so factoring this one. So we're looking for two numbers. These two numbers multiplied together equals to these two numbers multiplied together. Six multiplied negative three multiplied the first coefficient and the last constant with negative eighteen. You got negative eighteen. So we write down this two, we got the six and negative three. Right? Six negative three, we multiply together in negative eighteen. Now, using these two numbers as reference, leading us to find nine and negative two. Because we added these two numbers together, we got positive three. That means these two numbers, too close. Because they add together, one is positive, one is negative, add together, you got positive 3. But we need a positive 7, right? So this number needs to be greater, this number smaller. So now we get the positive 7, right? See? After 6, next is number is 7. 7 is not working with negative 18 because we're looking for 
two numbers they multiply together. So these two numbers all are the factor of negative 18. So seven, six not, uh, 7 is not working, 8 is not working because 18 is not divided by 8. Then go to 9, 9 is working. So we have 9 make 6 greater, and because this is greater, so this has to be small. So then we can see negative 18 with 9, you can see this is 2, right? See? And look at negative 2. That's why this number, we found it, see? 9 and negative 2, that's the reason. I, again, I I, uh, I explained to you, first of multiply these two, get the positive 3, and use these two number as reference, add them together equal positive 3. But we need a positive 7, that means give us information. These two number, we use these two number, and the, dif too, the difference is too small, we need to make big difference. To make the big, big difference, we need to make 6 greater. Make a negative 3, make 3 smaller, which is this one, right? Absolute number is smaller. So this is a 7 is not working, 8 is not working, 9 is working. 9 is divided by 18 equal 2. That's why we found this one. Once you find this one, then you can separate these two into 9x. And this is the negative 2x and 6x squared plus 9 minus 2x minus 3, right? Then we grouping because you have four terms in grouping. Grouping first to 2, you got 6x squared plus 9x and the minus grouping the second is 2x plus 3. Let's be careful. The reason is this is negative. In front of negative, you put the bracket, you need to change the sign. Because you can see once you break down the bracket back to this step, this is negative, this is positive. That's what make a negative. If you don't change the sign, you still keep a minus, then this is a subtraction, then it becomes to minus minus become positive, right? This is you need to be very careful. So once you grouping, you pull common factor for the first two, which is 3x. Then you have 3x. This one is, oh, this one is 6, is 2x. Sorry. 2x plus 3, right? 3 times 3 is 9. And minus, this is nothing common. So you have 2x plus 3. And these two, same. Always. Has to be same. If not the same, that's wrong. Then you have pull common factor 2x plus 3 and the 3x left minus this one. In front no number which is 1, which is 1 here and minus 1, right? See? We got the same thing. Same thing. So to do factoring you need to be careful looking for 9 and negative 2 are already explained. The second when you grouping, pay attention to if it is negative, you need to change the sign to positive. And then if you have coefficient, one is no number, is not zero, means one. So this is one, okay? The other example, a uh, practice question I want to show you is here. Factoring 6x squared plus x minus 12. Same thing, we multiply these two numbers is we got negative 12 multiplied 6, we got negative 72. And using these two numbers as reference, add together equal negative 6. Because we need a positive number, that means we need to change the sign, make this is a positive, this is negative, then this is become positive 6. First, uh, make positive. Then, the positive 6, we need a positive 1. That means these two numbers, two big difference, because 12 minus 6. We need these two numbers very close. 
very close and to find the answer because make close we need to make 12 smaller make 6 greater make 12 smaller 11 is not working 10 is not working 9 see if this is positive 9 72 divided 9 equals 8 9 is working 8 this is uh, big right see absolute number 8 is greater than 6 so from this one you can see one is plus 9 the other is negative 8 and result add together is positive 1 which is here this is uh, actually the 1 right 1 yeah so this is what we found see very fast to find these two numbers then we separate in this one to positive 9 and negative 8. And we can write the positive 9 minus 8, but now if 1, if one is positive, 1 is negative. To avoiding to change the sign in the bracket, like this one, you change the sign in the bracket, we can do this one. We write the negative number first, minus 8x plus 9x. This is the same thing, right? 9x minus 8x equal 1x. Negative 8x plus 9x also equal 1x. But this will give us ed minus 12. Because whatever this number, which one, right, the first, it doesn't matter. Answer will be same. But it's easy for us to do because this is plus. When you're grouping, we don't need to worry about changing the sign. So we're grouping 6x squared minus 8x plus 9x minus 12. See? Just put a bracket because this is plus. So we don't need to do any change sign. And then pull common factor 6 with 8 is 2. x squared x is x. Have 3x minus 4 plus 9x. 9 with 12, a uh, common factor with 3, and have 3x minus 4. 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4. Common factor again, 3x minus 4, you have 2x and plus 3. So the answer is 3x minus 4, 2x plus 3. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.